Welcome to the Event Answer Studio. Today, I want to show you how to create a balloon wall that integrates these white plastic panels. Now, I bought a single box of these 20 by 20 white geometric panels off of eBay or Mart, and I'll have them linked below. To turn these individual squares into a wall, first lay down a cutting mat to protect your floor, and then grab a piece of cardboard, foam board, or insulation board that's larger than 20 by 80 inches in size. I'm going to lay four of these panels end to end, but you'll notice the pattern that's stamped into each of these is exactly the same. So to reduce the effect of a repeating pattern, I'm going to rotate every other panel 90 degrees so your eye is less likely to see the pattern in the boards. I'm laying four of these panels end to end, which will mean my wall is about six and a half feet tall. To secure these panels to the cardboard, I'm using four glue dashes. Now you could always use hot glue or any other kind of adhesives, but I found that these were easy to not only apply, but also to remove once I'm done with my wall. So I'm gonna cut each of my glue dashes in half because that's all the sticking power we really need and applied one of these tiny squares to each corner of my panel. Remove the paper backing on each of those pieces, flip the panel over and press it down onto the cardboard near the end. Apply the adhesive to the corners of the next panel, but when it comes to sticking it down to the cardboard, you want to flip the panel over and then tilt it up onto its edge right against the panel we've already adhered down to the cardboard. We want to make sure these are butting up next to each other and the edges are flush so that our panels are nice and square to each other. Then slowly lower it onto the cardboard, press on the adhesive, and this will ensure our wall is nice and straight once we've got all four panels adhered to the cardboard. Put a brand new blade in a craft knife and use that knife to cut away the excess cardboard from around the plastic panels, using those plastic panels as a guide. Keep the edge of the craft knife against that plastic and then I was usually able to cut through the cardboard in two passes. Do this all the way around the plastic panels, making sure you move your cutting mat as you go. Now my panels are going to be nestled in between balloons, so I'm not going to worry about trying to cover up the edges of the cardboard, but if you wanted these to be freestanding for an event where they might be seen from the side, you'll want to consider adding white tape along the edges for a nice clean look. The rest of our wall is going to be made up of balloon quads, which is groups of four balloons of either four 11 inch or three 11 inch with one 17 inch. Now I'm gonna inflate all these balloons two at a time, and then I'm gonna tie them into a pair by wrapping the nozzle around twice and tying them in a simple knot. I inflated my next two 11 inch balloons anywhere between six and nine inches in diameter to give a beautiful organic look. Now I'm gonna take those two pairs and overlap them in the center so that all the nozzles touch and then twist one balloon from each pair around each other, locking it into a quad. I ended up making three of these 17 inch quads in each of my four colors, followed up by six all 11 inch balloon quads in all of my colors as well. Next, we need to tie all our quads together into garlands, and I'm going to use an empty 260 balloon to do that. You could always use fishing line or tying the knots of the quads together, but my favorite approach is a 260. So stretch all the air out of the 260 balloon, tie the end in a knot, do that a second time, and then tie those two together, giving us more than enough length to secure our 12 quads into a garland. Take your first quad and tie the end of the 260 to the nozzles of that quad. An easy way to do that is to pinch the ends together, stretch the 260 tight, and wrap it in a figure eight pattern around a couple of the balloons. Now take your second quad and nestle it right on top of that first one, pull the 260 balloons up through the center, and wrap it around two of the balloons in that new quad, and that will secure them together. Nestle on the next quad, pull the 260 up through the center, and wrap it around a couple times before adding the next quad, which is a 17 inch quad. Now you wanna make sure you have at least one 17 inch quad per color grouping. And when you add these, always orient the 17 inch balloons in the same direction. That way, when we assemble our wall, all the 17 inch balloons are facing out the front of the wall and not towards the sides or the back. Now I'm going for a color blocked method and you'll notice that I'm doing either groups of two quads or three quads of the same color before switching to the next one. I think this allows each color a chance to truly shine and by mixing up two or three gives it a bit more of an organic feel. Now once you've got 12 quads all tied on, you're going to take the remaining 260 tail and tie it to one of the nozzles in that last quad with a double knot and that will keep everything together. Make three garlands just like that and then we need to prepare a backdrop stand to support our wall. 
I raised the stand to about six feet high and I'm gonna cover each leg of that stand with one of our garlands. So align the bottom of the garland against the base of the stand and then pull two balloons out of each quad around the stand so that the pole of that stand is touching its nozzles. Now if you're happening to do this outside, you may wanna twist those two balloons around each other, locking the garland to the pole. But if this is inside, you can just simply slip it over and that should be enough tension to hold it in place. The most important thing is camouflaging the stand. So we want to orient the balloons so that they nestle right next to each other and you can't really see the stand through the balloons. And also making sure that final quad in the garland sits on top of the stand so you can't see the horizontal pole sticking out. Once both bases of the backdrop stand are covered, it's time to add our white panels and I'll be securing it in place with some clear packaging tape. Now lean the panel right up against that support pole on the backdrop stand, making sure it's nestled right against our balloons as close as possible. Then I'm just going to take two pieces of clear packaging tape and secure the top of that panel to the horizontal pole of the backdrop stand and that should be more than enough to hold the panel in place. Once I've got both panels attached to the pole, I'm going to take that third balloon garland and nestle it right between the two white panels. Slip the end of the garland over that horizontal pole so that the pole sits right against the nozzles between that first and second balloon quad. Even though the panels in the balloon garlands are nestled really close together, there's still going to be gaps you can see through. To fill those in, I've inflated several extra 11 inch balloons and I'm going to hold them up where I think I see a gap and then see where that balloon touches a balloon that's already in the garland and place a glue dash right in that spot, remove the paper backing, and then stick the balloon back in place. Some of these balloons may require a second glue dash to close up larger gaps, but do your best in placing the 11 inch balloons in an organic way that gets the most coverage. I'm focusing my efforts on the front side of these panels so that they overlap on top of the white instead of worrying about the back. Now once you've got the big holes covered, I'm gonna come in with some mini balloon clusters that I've made from five inch balloons, inflated the three to four pumps of air each and I'm going to slip those in the smaller holes beside the panels as well as adding these little clusters on top of the main garland so we just had even more texture and interest to the garlands as a whole. With the last tiny balloon in place, this wall is ready to be the focal point of a party or celebration. If the setup time for your party is too short, you should check out my fastest balloon wall build over here. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!